All right, so I think I'm probably going to leave social media for a little bit. And a lot of people are like, well, why would you do that? And I think for me, it's because when I sit down and I actually put the different things into perspective, I look at the analytics, I look at future forecasts for how social media is going to be used for my numbers, for other people's numbers, just in general within the niche of real estate or that are using it to generate leads for real estate and what's working, what's not working. But then one of the biggest common factors is that there's an algorithm that we can't control. It changes super frequently, especially on Instagram. You know, oftentimes it's in favor of the creator, but then it's switched over to be in some position where you as the creator need to pay meta in order to have the things that you were being given before where they were even paying you for doing it. And so YouTube is just one of those platforms that you make the content and they actually go looking for the audience to watch it. They pay you to make the content, to upload it. And so if it's evergreen content, then it's just one of those things that it's searchable. It just keeps coming up again and again and again. Whereas, you know, when you're looking at something like Instagram, you post it. And I mean, it can be relevant for a few days, but normally people aren't going back scrolling to the bottom of your feed or I guess timeline, essentially looking for that one post that speaks to whatever it is they're in need of. Whereas, you know, of course, with YouTube being owned by Google, we're talking about a search engine that's going to take people straight to your video. And really, you don't have that connection on the other platforms. I'm also really interested in building personal brand more. And it's a lot easier to do that here on YouTube because me and you are sitting here together for an extended period of time. Your attention span here is longer than if it was on, let's say, TikTok, Instagram, something like that, we hop on that and we automatically are prepared to watch something for a short amount of time and then swipe, 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 right? So you're mentally locked in seven seconds, 10 seconds, 12 seconds, whatever the case may be. However, the difference is that when we take the phone and we go from this and I start watching you like this, now we're locked in to build a bit more of a relationship, a community and investment in each other, right? Because now you're locked in to actually watch me for a longer period of time and to have these conversations with me. And ultimately, that's what I want to build this time. I don't care as much about the vanity metrics of Instagram. Been there, done that. To get the recognition there, am I proud of it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was named number 33 on top 100 North Carolina real estate agents on social media. Huge honor considering there's over 80,000 of us here. But for me, the shout outs and all the awesomeness of it, it was super cool. But probably after two or three days, I realized it was a vanity metric and that there wasn't some big reward from it. Was there a lot of publicity? Was there a lot of different things that happened? Was there, did I gain a following? Did I have more people reach out to me for certain things? Yes, I mean, I, I definitely could say I benefited some financially from it because it opened a lot of doors, gave me a lot more opportunities. But Instagram just as a whole, it's not one, like you have to play by the rules so specifically, even when they change, that I'm just not as interested in doing it anymore. I'm going to continue to put out awesome content over there over time, but I'm not going about the same way I used to where it was my main thing. YouTube, on the other hand, I want to build this. I want to do something big. And so this is like my focus, right? Is you guys. I, I know there's a lot of information to be shared about marketing, about what I'm doing with this company. Some of you are interested in kind of like behind the scenes, my life, and you know, we'll get to know each other better. You know, obviously real estate and being able to show you guys houses, even some of the, the editing that I do and different stuff like that. And just ultimately being able to figure out exactly what I want to do with this channel and let the other social media platforms kind of be a derivative or you know they they, they kind of get the overflow of content i guess you could say and so i don't know how that goes i don't know the best way to go about it right i know i trust my gut i feel as though i actually probably do know the best way but when i think about it, i'm saying i don't know the best way because i've never done this right like it's brand new to me but i'm excited about it and you know it's something that i prayed on i feel like god is like hey just go for it like i got you on this one you'll be just fine just trust me so yeah i guess we're gonna do it honestly i'm very very happy that you guys are here if you're still watching at this point like you know i i greatly appreciate it you know, if you hit the subscribe button, follow whatever it is, um, leave a comment about what you would love to see on this channel, whether it be more marketing advice. Maybe you're a real estate agent like me, you want more marketing advice, I don't know. What I shoot with as far as equipment goes for cameras and stuff like that. I don't know, anything like, let's let's talk, let's figure out what this channel's gonna be about. I'm gonna put more of me out here and we're gonna do it. So I'm excited, we're gonna go to the top this, this year, guys. Um, I hope you all are just as motivated as, as I am, not even just for me, but for yourselves, you know what I mean? Like we're gonna do amazing things this year. I 
filled in the air. I'm excited about it. So yeah, um, it's probably a good spot. We'll wrap it up. Stay tuned though, because obviously, like I said, I'll be making more videos. And if you've been paying attention, I've been posting more and more and more. So let's keep this thing going. Let's make 2024 our year. I hope you guys are just as motivated as I am. We got to get out here and crush it. So until I see you again, love you guys. Keep rocking. Keep going forward. All right. Bye.